Hello crypto enthusiasts and welcome back to Smart Bitcoin Investments. Today we've got an in-depth tutorial tailored for beginners who want to venture into the world of Bitcoin mining. We'll be exploring NiceHash QuickMiner, an easy to use platform perfect for those starting their mining journey. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time. Let's dive into the fascinating world of NiceHash QuickMiner. Before we jump into the nitty gritty, let's have a quick overview of what NiceHash QuickMiner is. In essence, QuickMiner is a mining software designed with simplicity in mind. It automates the configuration process, ensuring optimal mining performance without delving into complex settings. This makes it an excellent choice for beginners looking to start their Bitcoin mining adventure without the technical headaches. Now, to get the full benefits of NiceHash QuickMiner, you'll need a NiceHash account. If you don't have one yet, click on Get Started on NiceHash website and follow the prompts to create your account. You'll need to enter in your email address and a secure password. NiceHash will ask you to verify your email address in order to get started with mining. If you're already a NiceHash user, simply log in using your credentials. Let's kick things off by downloading and installing NiceHash QuickMiner. Head over to the Mining tab and go to Download Miner or Add ASIC. Next, select NiceHash QuickMiner at the top to download the NiceHash QuickMiner to begin using the NiceHash QuickMiner platform. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the software on your computer. The installation process is user-friendly, so you'll breeze through it like a pro. Copy your mining address from the NiceHash dashboard over to the NiceHash QuickMiner installation. And press OK. Configure your initial settings before you start mining. You can set your language, create a name for your mining rig, choose whether to auto start with Windows, choose how to handle your PC with error handling, look at tips and tricks, and tune your video card within your rig manager and overclock your miner using OC Tune. Click OK to continue. You are now ready to go and you can begin mining by clicking on the Start Mining button. Click on the Start Mining button and NiceHash will automatically begin mining. Additionally, you can control NiceHash QuickMiner through the Contacts menu by right clicking on the NiceHash icon from within your Windows Notifications taskbar. NiceHash QuickMiner provides a straightforward dashboard for monitoring your mining progress. Here you can check your crucial metrics like earnings, hash rate, and more. The user-friendly interface simplifies the process, making it easy for beginners to keep tabs on their mining activities. You can see each individual rig that you have and pause or start from within the user interface. You can also see your actual profitability as well as your BTC wallet balance. From within the history and stats section, you can see all of the payouts and active workers that you are currently received and are working with. From within the history and stats section, you can see your projected income, as well as your active workers and your mining history stats. As you accumulate Bitcoin through mining, you might wonder about withdrawing your earnings. Navigate to the wallet section in your NiceHash account where you can set up withdrawal preferences and transfer your hard-earned Bitcoin to your chosen wallet. It's a crucial step in securing your profits. After you've accumulated enough Bitcoin, you can choose the buy or sell crypto from within the buy sell crypto section. All you have to do is select the payment method and withdraw your funds. Likewise, if you're buying Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, you can simply deposit funds and purchase from here. You can also place orders between Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies from within the trade view section. Here you can set limit orders to execute when the cryptocurrency passes a specific price that you set. Before we conclude, 
Let's go over some tips and best practices for efficient Bitcoin mining. Consider factors like electricity costs, hardware upgrades, and staying informed about the crypto landscape. Keep an eye on market trends can help you optimize your mining strategy. You will also want to make sure to upgrade your security to protect your account and your mining activities. You can enable two-factor authentication from the security settings so that you can keep your account secure in case of any unauthorized login attempts. You can manage each of your mining rigs from the mobile app that's available on Android and iOS devices, as well as from the web app. If you own an organization in which you manage different workers or employees, you can create a new organization so that all of your activities are listed under one roof. You can see each of your withdrawal addresses from the withdrawal addresses section so that you can know exactly which of your wallets are connected. You can generate reports from the reports tab as well as statements to keep track of your mining activities. This is useful in case you need to do taxes. And lastly, you can refer other people directly to NiceHash using a referral link such as the one I have here and listed below in the description. Congratulations! You successfully mastered NiceHash QuickMiner and embarked on your Bitcoin mining journey. Remember, Mining can be profitable, but it's essential to stay informed and mindful of associated costs. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more crypto content, and share your thoughts in the comments. Happy mining, and I'll catch you in the next one.